Hello everyone! Today I want to show you my new creation, which is very useful for the new autopilot system. This ship can record waypoints as it goes through space. It uses only a programmable block and a script inside it called GPS Recorder. So no mods are needed, this is completely vanilla. I know that this ship doesn't look very good, but it's not the purpose. When I sit down into the ship, you can see two LCDs on both sides. When I open my hut, you can see there are some actions in the toolbar. First action adds a waypoint to the LCD panels. When I press it second time, it will add second waypoint. Third time, third waypoint. Now, all those waypoints point to the same place, because I didn't move. I don't want to have three waypoints on the same place. That's why I have the second action here. The second action will remove last added waypoint. So I just remove third waypoint. I can add it again. Remove. Remove. Now, when I have several waypoints, I can use third action to completely remove everything from the LCDs. Now, actions 8 and 9 are for automatic recording of the waypoints. When I press 8, it will start timer block. Now, first waypoint will soon appear. Waypoints are recorded each 5 seconds. You can modify this by changing the delay in the timer. Now, I have third waypoint, fourth Let me just go around this. And stop here. I press 9 to stop the automatic recording. You can see that I now have 8 automatic waypoints in the LCDs. When I open the control panel by pressing K. When I look into my GPS, I don't have any waypoints here. When I open control panel and choose one of the control choose one of the text panels with record in their name and press edit public text. I can see all the waypoints are here. I just press OK and now when I go into my GPS screen you can see all 8 waypoints were added. When I go to the control panel and find my remote control, I go down and you can see the waypoints are empty. Now I just go and add each waypoint by selecting it and pressing add. Seven, eight. Now, flight mode is set to one way. That's okay. Now I just press autopilot and enjoy the view. You can see the ship follows the path. And I can now remove the waypoints from the LCDs. And we are here. This ship will be available as a blueprint on a workshop. You will find link to it in the video description. Let me now show you how to set it up on your own ship. Let's say you have some ship which you want to control using autopilot. You have to have 
remote control block on it already. If the script detects remote control block, it will automatically take position from that block. So it's best if you have it already there because it will take exact position for that exact ship. What we will need? We will need programmable block. Let's build one here. Timer block for automatic recording. And LCDs that will show us waypoints. Now, let's open the control panel of the programmable block. Click edit. Click Browse Workshop, find the GPS recorder, click OK, you will see the script with some, with some instructions. There is a quick guide explaining everything, recommend you read it. Just click Check Code. Compilation successful means that everything is fine. Click Remember and Exit, and you are done. Apart from one thing. As you can see, the programmable block is owned by nobody. When I press Run now, you will see that no cockpit or remote control found cannot add waypoints. That means that the script doesn't have access to the cockpit or the remote control because those are owned by me. You can also see uh, index out of bounds sometimes if the script cannot find anything at all. So let's fix that by selecting all blocks and transferring them to me. Yes. When I select the programmable block now, you can see it says ownership of the programmable block changed. Please re recompile the program. I need to click edit, click check code again, click OK, remember and exit, and it's done. Next thing I need to do is rename the text panel to tell the script to write to it. I do that by adding record uppercase to the name of the text panel or LCD panel. Now, when I run the program of a block, we should see LCD contains, let's sit down, LCD contains GPS waypoint 001. Now, sometimes, or most of the time, you will not want to have just waypoint there. You may want to have uh, some name or something there. You can do that by adding prefix to the name of the programmable block. It needs to be uppercase, then canon, and whatever you want to have in front of the waypoint name. Let's say my. Now, when I run the programmable block, it will add another waypoint, but this time, as you can see, the new waypoint is my name. My waypoint 002. So, whenever I run the program of a block, it will add waypoint, which will have my in front of the name. Now, I want to set up the actions. So, I take the program of a block, put it into first action, Press run. Now, I want this action to add waypoint. Add is add and 
I can do space and let's say uh, manual. This will add waypoint with prefix manual. So now when I press first action, you can see manual waypoint was added. This, using this, you can override uh, the default prefix that you've put there. The default prefix is there mainly because of the timer block, and I will show you why. Now, let's set up second action that will remove last waypoint. Argument for that is undo. Now, by pressing the second action, I removed the waypoints. So, using first one, I add them. Using second one, I remove them one by one. Now, the third action is reset. Confirm. Now, when I add a bunch of waypoints and press third action reset, it resets the waypoints removes everything from the LCD. Now, we need to set up the timer block. When I open the timer block, I will set delay to 5 seconds, so I want to create waypoint each 5 seconds. Press setup actions, find my programmable block, put it into the toolbar, first action and press run. Now it asks for the argument but even if I do add super and press confirm you will see that even when I, when I do this and run the timer block it will not uh, take the argument into account because of the bugging game I guess it will be fixed soon. Now to the second action I add a timer block and start. Now I can close this and when I start the timer block it will start ticking and add waypoint. As you can see it's my waypoint because it doesn't take the argument into account. Maybe when you are watching this video Maybe it was already fixed in game and the script will take the argument in the timer block into account. But right now you will need to, let's stop this, you will need to add prefix to, to the name of the programmable block to override the, the prefix that you want to have there when, when the script is run from timer block. So now we have the timer block set up. So what we can do is press G and set timer block start to 8th action and timer block stop to 9th action. Now the script is completely set up. Let's reset it and I can fly and manually add waypoints. Or I can start timer, which will add the waypoints for me. And that's it. You can do the same on your ships. You can even override the block from which the pos position is taken by, by uh, renaming the program of the block. Uh, more of that, more about that is written in the, in the guide, I recommend you read that. But the basic functionality is what I just explained and most of you should not have any problems using it. You can set up waypoints very accurately using this. So, have fun!